Who is this? Ooh, it's locker nuts. What's up, Jack? What are you doing? Uh, not much. I just wanted to know when we're we gonna get to those trunks we bought. Trunks? I haven't seen any trunks, Jack. What are you talking about, trunks? Well, as much as I want to forget it, didn't we spend like 4500 bucks yesterday on a bunch of stuff, including trunks? I don't know, Jack. Remember the last time we bought a trunk and found a dead guy? Are you sure you're ready for this? Well, that's better than some of the stuff you found in trunks before, but I'm ready. I'm always ready. All right, Mr. Locker Nuts. Well, then let's get pillaging! Ladies, gentlemen, boys, pirates of all ages. He forgot girls. Don't, don't, don't get offended. All ages. We bought these together. We went to a moving company. One I used to work for. We bought a lot of stuff. We bought two vaults. Very expensive. My most expensive vault I've ever purchased. And probably the same for you, right? Yours was like thirteen. Yeah. I actually spent twenty three hundred, not twenty two hundred. I was thinking in my head, like, wow, I just caught me off guard. Manny, a couple other guys on YouTube. I'm not good at pronouncing their names. I don't want to ruin it, but it's like Bogar and Bahilia. We all got this big collab coming, so you have to go to Jack's channel as well as theirs to see some of the stuff we got. We're going to go through these trunks. Mm -hmm. Any rhyme or reason how we're going to do this? I don't think so. We heard these lockers were good, right? From guys who bought the other vaults. This the was owners. one whole lot Jack bought for 600 Something I don't even remember. Yeah, I think it was 600 I could be wrong. We yeah. bought the big trunk that we collabed on. Yeah. The guy passed away maybe or something. It's all military. There's no telling what's in here, but anytime you see a trunk, it's locked. From a military, been sitting 20 years, it's very intriguing. I want to say real quick before we get started though, shout out to my man, he's behind the camera way over here or maybe there, Pickers Warehouse, are you here? Yes. Don't forget to go to his channel, he's helping us out today, making this video for us, filming and editing, much love. Go to his channel. Let's get it on, pirates. Neil Armstrong, pirate, I just got a call from Elon Musk and he needed me to go up in space because one of the guys got sick and we all trained together, so basically I'm on my way out. Justin came by, helped us out, so. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start off with this trunk. It's probably gonna be one of the most boring ones that says blankets, but we're gonna open it up on three, two, one. It's a freaking blanket. It's not even really a nice one. It's very dull. I don't wanna break these. I have a tendency to be a bull in a china shop. Wow, it's two of them. I do see some military blankets coming up though, right? Aren't these like military-esque? I forget the material. You see these often, like people used to have them in sports games and stuff, and there are a lot of them that are navy and stuff. But I don't, it doesn't have the normal military tag. Like vintage. I said, huh? vintage. Definitely vintage. That yeah. one is vintage. This one has that vintage feel. This one as well is what? Uh, oh, this is a, uh, I mean, it's a Pan Am. It's an it? uh, airplane blanket. Oh, look. Isn't yeah. it Delta Airlines? Yeah. Okay, so. They're older. Made in USA. I like that. I was made in USA. Some reason people are liking these, like you, you find them and people are like, are you going to bring the wool knit blanket on to the uh, auction? Yeah. And I'm like, I didn't have any intentions of selling a blanket. Another one, Delta Airlines. So we have, what, a whole lot of air airline stuff here. Look at this. This one is nice and cozy. It's like a, a sheep. Imagine just all nestled up against this on a fire and you're like this. No? That was... What's the picture on the pillow? The pillow? That is a mallard. It is a red-nosed, cross-feathered mallard, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> that one looks exciting. All right, no spoiler. Oh, okay. But who knows this could be surprising. Spring made. This is uh, for kale. It's not like terribly high. What is for kale? Uh, sheets. It's a. Man, what's it? The, there's back in the day. There's like two types of sheets. I used to sell sheets. No sheets. <laughs> no sheet. That's a real deal. There's more. Somebody said uh, vintage linens sell good. That, vintage. That is, man, vintage anything. Like I had a pack of BVDs I found the other day. I was going through yeah. stuff, set them for auction, and three shirts are like forty bucks on eBay. But nowadays you go to Walmart and you buy them for like nine bucks. Used ones I'm not sure about. I'm, I'm so far I'm not very impressed. Okay. That's a military bag, like a little duffel bag, laundry linen bag. That might end up, that's a different style one. That's kind of neat. Probably put that in a lot. 
Probably. Shameless plug, we both do YouTube auctions on YouTube. I do mine on my sister channel, link is below, and he does his on his main channel, Locker Nuts. As well as Picker's Warehouse does his too. That's right. Me and Picker's Warehouse are in a competition to see who can run the worst absolute auction on YouTube. I think I'm winning. While well, Jack is steadily running the, the, the smoothest auction on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> this is like those blankets you go to the flea market now and buy. You know, like they're, yeah. but this is like a, it, it has a gold cool feel to it. The older ones are made really well. I've got one that I've had since I was a teenager, bought at the flea market. Looks like this. I'd almost keep that one because I like a lion, like a, a tiger. If yeah, there's like, like a big a deer or something on it, I've yeah. seen those go for decent money. Really? Oh yeah. They're we sell them at our money. store for like 25 bucks. They literally last forever because those we should maybe set aside because if we get a few more of those, those are worth something. Uh, Even on, on eBay is worth more than we're going to get the flea market. You know what would be nice to do with these is like find some homeless, uh, you know, to give it to you. Yeah, we could do that. This one looks good. Yeah. Jack thinks this one. Absolutely no. What it says, what does it say? Rawhide. Dun, 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 dun. No, that's the wrong song. We got one cowhide, we got three sheepskins, and one antelope hide. All we need is a box of rice and a bag of flour, and we're in the trade system. You know what I mean? I like it. We could maybe actually get like 50 bucks for this one because these are like sheepskins. Look. Yeah, that's a nice one. This is a large size. What do you do with these? Put them on um, chairs or something? Or? Yeah. Could you imagine me sprawled out in front of a fireplace in like a nightgown or a thong or Rather something? Not. And I'm just, I don't know. Okay. If any of you are bored out there, dial 1 800 storage auction pirate and you can come join me. Right here. This one's getting better here. Mm -hmm. There's one, there's three of them. We should actually make a thumbnail of all three of us laid out in front of these on in front of a fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we could do it, guys. That's a viral video. Right yeah, this is good right here. This one is? Yeah, Jan and I, we went up to uh, Columbia, that old town. This one's big. One of the shops was selling cowhides, and I think it was a... This is not... But they didn't say cowhide, did it? Or did Yeah, it was real cowhide, yeah. It was about this size. This is like 250 bucks in the store. I didn't realize cows were so soft. They always look so rugged from afar, you know? First off, if I was had no clothes on, this would feel extra absorbent against my skin. Second of all, it's almost arousing to rub this up against my cheek. Third, I only have one thing that comes to mind, and that is me. That's a Smurf poncho. It's got a little head thing. It does. I think you can get it on. I'm, Let's I'm, try I it. probably can't. Let's try. Let me see if I can squeeze this on my big old. I have a big head, not like just my, you know, that metaphorical ego thing, but I have a big head. <laughs> Can you get it off? Of Slow time? motion in that one. <laughs> the court is now in session. We will continue on this trunk in honor of the king, George III. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> He's got a bib. <laughs> that's the antelope. Yeah, that's pretty. That's the butt right here. There's the thighs. You know, there's a, there's a little bit of money in this one little trunk. That's, that's kind of sweet. It's CDs. Oh. But I do believe this to be like a, a $75 set of CDs, to be honest. It's a special... They seal? Um, you know what? Sure. They're not. They have the... Pla they Remember, these were in storage for a long time. Mm -hmm. They're from 1967. This is like right when oh. CDs came out. No. no. Time machine stuff. Flawless. But anyway, this is probably a $50, $60 bill minimum on eBay, but I think it's more like $75. I could be wrong. Somewhere in that ballpark. Then we do have a lot of records. A lot of records are very common, very absolutely no value. This was kind of cool back in the day. It's like the original NSYNC here, the Letterman Band. But I learned something from Tom Cruise a long time ago. And back in this era, one thing they did was they made overabundance of white guys and black women. And there was lesser of black guys and white women. So tendency, there's more money involved in the ones where there was less made back then. Shout out to Tom Cruise. Mm. Lord of the Rings, the original. That is actually probably a $10. Oh, who doesn't love making this? Love. I like my love in spoonfuls. Luminaries, Rosen. Papa's in the Mamas. We got Montevelli, Montevani. It looks like a lot of classical jazz. These things right here are actually very minimal value. Um, I'm not trying to be depressing here. We got the Lone Ranger. But these guys are in love. Uh, is that the guy from... Uh, Chips? No? Neil Diamond? Neil Sadaka? Neil Young? It's the Neils. Watch out, they're coming for us. 
Madonna's first record, original 50s explosion. Yeah, there's a lot of nonsense records in here so far. That, that first CD really got us, but who gives a hoot, right? And um, apparently we found where the skins came from. <laughs> Poor family right there, it didn't last long. Um, what else we got here? Please be something that is nothing. This is very important right here because in life you should always stop and smell the roses, right? In the back. 2020 Vision. Hey. Frank Sinatra. Probably five bucks a record if they're in good shape on a, in a good world. Is that Marvin Gaye? No. It is. Sinatra. Records like Sinatra, when you get them like this, a good way to sell them on eBay is in groups. You know, not just sit there and, and hope for the best. That's probably a $10 record right there, black on black, Waylon, um, at least. But put them in groups on eBay, like all of the same band, and then just let them roll. Those guys are so serious. Reminds me of my favorite uh, episode of uh, South Park when they're like making band covers, you know? Just stare at the, at, the, at the sky and pretend like you don't care. And for the most part, the records feel like they're in good shape. Look, yeah, nice. little scuffs right there. And in my world, that's a VG plus. But yeah, a little boring, nonetheless. Dun, 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 dun. Great, How we, we're gonna need a plasma cutter to get in this. We're gonna need a plasma cutter. Let me get my handy handy tool. This is gonna be, I don't know, we might take a break. It's gonna take me 15, 20 minutes to get in here. Right now I'm on the hate comments. You know, that is an $80 trunk. I can't believe you used a Phillips, not a flathead. <laughs> yeah. You know, I saw on this one channel where they broke out a grinder. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, almost what I, you get the feel that feels cool, right? Feel how crusty it is. Let me get the crusty. You feel it. Hmm. He's on a beach. Did you just call me a beach? Okay. That's a little better. Come on. Okay. Screws though. That, they don't like the screws in there. Damn it. Mm. Clickbait. This has something in it. Costume. Mm. That's pretty. It is, and those are cold, like my heart. We're getting better, though. This is getting better. Oh, yeah, sisters. Right. Nice. This is a, the thought of drying myself after a shower that does not mm. feel like it would be good against my supple skin. That's just a piece of wood. Texas Tire Popper. I think this is a DJ kit. Wicka, 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 wicka. No, it's a cool little radio, though. Believe it or not, you should always look up every vintage radio on eBay. Because these right here, what they call ghetto blasters, actually have a good amount of value. Ain't that right, Justin? I know you know that. Is that a, supposed to be a rolling pin? Mm -hmm. It's very boring. Very thin. I like my rolling pins to have girth. Don't be getting all weird on me, Pickers Warehouse over there, I see you. But let's continue on. We have leather. <laughs> it's literally leather. Yeah. Is that good? Uh, there'll definitely be somebody who wants it. Okay. Yeah. Like in our auctions? Mm -hmm. or? Could be. That's just an alarm clock. Lord knows I don't like using those. And uh, oddly, they were making dollhouses. <laughs> so we got a little bit of wood. Okay. This calls for a wardrobe change. So, thank you, thank you very much. Very slimming. I'm John. They call me Big John. <laughs> I went to school one time and I became a mechanic and this is my outfit I used to use. The o good mechanics only use white when you're doing it. It's the only way to go because you can even know what's leaking, the oil, the grease, etc. Et when you use black blue, it's hard to tell. All right, guys, we got to get this one wrapped up. This will be the final trunk. I just got a call from Elon. He says I need me to be there for the next launch. That's why I got my space suit on, so we don't have a lot of time. So we're not even going to count open that one up. That is a rat turd. A singular rat turd. They are really, they have gone up in value lately. So uh, we're going to take good care of that. This is the little woman. The little woman 
saying she wanted a new pillow, so I'm gonna try to pass that off as a new pillow. Ooh, what do we got here? FMS. This is a military. I don't know what it means. 446. 446 FMS. I needed these because Elon said I had to bring my own headphones, so I'm gonna have to get these shined up and get them ready because otherwise I'm not going to talk to the NASA Center before we launch. This has potential. <laughs> really? Really? We got a bag. I, I don't even know what, what these are. Are these like the soles you put on the inside of your shoes? But for like a small person? Doll shoes. Maybe they're for like when you take a shower and you scrub the stuff off the bottom of your foot. Tiny little grip tape for skateboards. Yeah. My son needs this for the dishes. He's having struggling getting all the food off. A GM ignition tune-up kit. I don't know if you can. You guys hear me? Because I don't think you can. Um, I got all sorts of balls. That is actually pretty tight. Anytime you see something with the red and green, it's very different. That's probably a bike light, huh? My suit is almost ready. Elon's gonna be happy. We're going to Pluto, so you gotta have this type of outfit when you go to Pluto. The, this gases and stuff, it's very harmful. Um, is it a razor? No. Sanitizing wipes. This is, um, I don't think these will actually kill the corona germs, so they're not that. Ooh, something cool. Yeah. 38 special federal 50 center fire pistol cartridges. Lead bullets. These are nice. These are nice. I, I like this. It takes a very special talented person to be able to juggle golf balls and nice clean wipes, but I, I, I practiced a lot. I used to be in a traveling circus. Um, and I was like the, 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 the professional juggler, so I had a lot of skill in this. So this is how we used to do it. We just go like this. Hold on. See? It takes skill to learn that type of stuff in life. It doesn't I didn't just learn that overnight. But anyway, more shoe soles. Bigger more ones. More shoe soles. Almost intrigued me, had that feel. Ooh, we got with a Rolex? Texas Instruments. I thought things were bigger in Texas. Could be wrong. They stayed at the Sheffield. Matches. Okay. Wouldn't that be crazy if we just pulled out a gun out of this little wood box? Yeah. I mean, the signs are there now. Yeah. That's a great sign. Sterno. <laughs> I've been there before. <laughs> Locker food challenge, guys. You can almost build something out of all the stuff that's in here. I don't know what. Is it like a, a side pinstriping for a Buick Regal or something? It goes in the door or something? What is that? It looks like trim, huh? Maybe in the dash. I don't know. It looks like a piece of a dash. <laughs> Things, people, so. Oh, Leatherface, dude. Imagine me cooking with nothing on but this. I'm bending over in the oven, getting out the turkey and stuff. No one's home, of course, just me and the little woman. In just this. Just one for each of us. Lastest but not least this, and most importantly, finally, the end has come. This is the most final item of the end of this video that we are gonna finally open for the last thing. And it's everything I've been looking for is Ba-Oom items. I was looking all day for Ba-Oom items, so we found it. Thank you, Mitchell, August 80. This has been opened, closed. Oh, Army, Army Bahum items. Look at the way that slides in and out of the box. This is important, guys. Yeah, pre-moistened. I like when it's pre-moistened. It's always better for it to be pre-moistened than dry, just so you know. I believe I saw these on eBay. 87 bucks a piece and there's roughly 300 in here. So we're looking at probably 125 grand for this one box right here on eBay. That's crazy. We hit the jackpot, Jack. Nice. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I myself, I got to get to the space center. Elon called me. That's why I'm all suited up. These guys are going to continue on up their day. Locker nuts, Pickers Warehouse. Do you guys have anything you'd like to say, Jeff? Uh, well, I'm going to start unboxing for my video, so make sure you go to my channel. Check it out. All right, I'll give you NASA's number so you can message me, and then they'll send a message up in space so I know sure. what you found. Justin? Go to Locker Nuts channel. What about Justin? Go to Pickers Warehouse TV's channel. Uh, yeah, I mean, this was fun, right? I'll put the link to both their channels in my description. They got to hear the one-on-one -on -one call with Elon and everything, and they were, they're just blown away right now. They didn't even know I dabbled in spacery, but it's what's happening, so. He did, he, every day something new. Every day. Pirate life. Sass! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Most of my days, chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all going on, shooting some people outside of the